I'm about to show you why Google search, one of the most searched platforms on the entire planet, is about to collapse. And why YouTube search is most likely next. In this video, you're going to learn why Google just laid off their top search and ads person. Why most of the product review searches that you find in Google today are almost invariably fake. Why companies like Forbes are out making millions of dollars right now off of fake product reviews and affiliate networks. Why experts are gone in the industry and just about every niche industry and why big business, regardless of what they know, is in. Buckle up, it's gonna be a crazy ride. Let's face it. Google search is the worst it has ever been. Take an example of a product recommendation search. Right now, type into your browser, best toothpaste available, and you'll see a bunch of listed categories. And most of those websites are going to be either Forbes, CNN, USA Today, or any of the other large scale companies. Go to the product review page and it's going to look like a completely legitimate review. Check the URL and you'll see that there's a string at the end of it, a string that you wouldn't normally see. And that's an affiliate ID. Most of these top product searches that you're going to do, product recommendation searches, are going to have a affiliate URL attached to them. Each of these companies is making 20 to 30% off every single sale and transaction that they're doing. And this creates a big problem. It's gotten so bad that Google has had to let go of their top search and ads person to try to find someone else who can hopefully fix the problem. Because we're in a situation where most of the search results are bad. But it wasn't like this just a few years ago. A few years ago, you would take a search like best toothpaste and you would find a dozen companies that were absolutely excellent, that had very good insider knowledge and really knew the product space well. So. What happened? Well, in 2021 and 2022 and so on, AI began to emerge. Now, this meant that the publisher, who were niche publishers who were publishing lots of articles about their specific industry, take, for example, Toothpaste, who had hundreds of articles discussing the different intricacies of it, could now be replicated in AI for a brand new website with someone with little to no knowledge. Now, this created a big problem because now, all of the niche authors who really knew their stuff had to compete with IT companies who would publish a thousand articles a day on their specific topic. This meant that Google could no longer distinguish when an author was actually an authority on a topic or whether an author was just a website that was producing hundreds of articles at mass scale. And so Google had a big issue that they needed to solve. To solve it, they decided that they were going to turn to brands. Now, this is nothing new. Google has always said that brands are the solution, but therein lies the problem. Now we have big brands as the only search results in the, but therein lies the problem. Because if the only search results that you're going to see are big brands, and it made a lot of sense to have big brands as the solution, but therein lies another problem. A lot of these big brands that were big publishers that were newspapers, that were big publishing warehouses, had a big problem in money because a lot of their revenue was going over to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, and most of their ad revenue had dried up, which made them overly desperate to either have sponsored content or have some sort of an affiliate network. This meant that as results popped up in Google search, as they switched over to brands, for example, USA Today, or for example, Forbes, as we switched over to these brands, Forbes advisor would pop up and people would realize, oh, well, we can go with the top uh, companies in order to put our product placement first for affiliate. And as they reached out to these companies, the companies inadvertently said yes to sponsored content. They said yes to affiliate networks and so on. And as we continue down this path, most of the results that we have are completely fake. What do we do now? Because most of the search results that we have are fake. They are AI searches. They are either AI results now that are in USA Today, the same problem that we had before. They are high authority websites that are largely affiliated. Well, I don't think there is a quick solution. I think Google's in a bad pinch because on the one hand, they have AI content and currently AI detectors cannot keep up with AI publishing abilities and with AI continually advancing. And so really Google has to try to find a solution, a middle ground where they have high domain authority websites that are also not affiliate. Uh, but that in and of itself is a problem because even if we take the URL, for example, and we 
we identify that these are affiliate URLs, the URL can just be changed. I think Google has a big problem ahead and there's no easy solution. And I think YouTube search is probably next because YouTube search right now is largely organic driven. Now that works because we have niche authors and niche topics. And we also have good discoverability with niche authors and niche topics. But as AI gets better, we will begin to have video search or video generation begin to create mass content at mass scale, similar to what we're having right now on Google search. But let me know if you have a different opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.